Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can connect your Zwift to Strava. So let's get right into it. Now, firstly, before I start going over this article on the Strava support page, there are some requirements you need to know, as you can see at the very top of the article. And firstly, you do need an indoor trainer or a speed cadence sensor or power meter and an ANT plus dongle. But once you have that, you also need to go to Zwift's getting started page to find out exactly what you need and you need to indicate your current gear in the prompts and it will tell you exactly uh, what is the requirements for connecting your Zwift and you can do this in two ways you can automatically sync uh, and you can upload this manually so let's go over how to set up automatic syncing first firstly you need to log in or create an account on Zwift then go click on your profile picture, go into your profile, then go to settings, connections, and then connect to Strava. Then follow the prompts in the pop-up to authorize Strava. Usually this is logging into your profile and then just confirming that you allow Strava and Zwift to share uh, data. And then you can disconnect your accounts from the Zwift page or revoke access uh, from Zwift in your Strava settings, but this is pretty much it. Now, if it is anything similar to Fitbit, you might need to upload previous activities manually since once you're synced it will only upload uh new activities at least that's what it's like for fitbit for zwift it might be different but you should keep an eye out for that and for uh, uploading manually you can do this in two ways either from a computer or a mobile device for a computer you just go to zwift.com feed and click on just me then find your missing activity and view the activity page Click on the gear icon and under fit file, download the uh, activity file and then open uh, this page on the Strava website. Click choose files and select the fit file. And of course it tells me to log in, but you will see a different prompt there. Uh, if you need to get this link, just go to Zwift and Strava on Strava's website and you should be fine. Uh, and for mobile devices, which require either iOS 10 and cloud storage, like iCloud, Dropbox, or Google Drive. As far as I'm aware, you cannot do this on Android. Uh, you need to navigate to my.swift.com on a mobile browser and log into your account. Then click the download link under the activity you want to upload. Follow the prompts to save the file to your preferred cloud-based service, uh, which requires storage, and then open up a new browser tab. Navigate to strava.com slash upload slash select. Tap, choose file, choose the cloud service where you save the file and select the fit file and that should be it. Uh, as you can see, historical activities will not sync from Zwift to Strava, uh, as I've mentioned is a possibility. And if you are missing previously recorded activities, you need to download a new copy from Zwift's website and manually upload it. Uh, and you go again into my.zwift.com and go into activities, click on the activity in question by selecting the gear icon and then download fit file and upload it directly through upload slash select on the Strava site. And that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys next time.